Okay, today we're going to take a look at a couple, what are these, about 7 inch Packard Bell black and white sets and both of these have pretty much the same problem which is no vertical deflection or very limited dirt vertical deflection and I looked into one of these about a year ago and diagnosed it down to the vertical output transformer and just kind of gave up on it because it's an unobtainable part that's soldered to the circuit board with all kinds of brackets soldered to the top of it. Very difficult to work on. These are called uh, Portabell. These are from about 71 or 72. Someone wants to get in on the action here. And um, ele just 11 pounds. And they came in some different colors. And they had one called the Nova. Just pretty much the same TV. Oh, yeah, gotta love that. This is a red portabelle. And I believe these were $79.95 out the door in about $71.72. It's a Panasonic Matsushita series string Japanese built set. And I would have to say that this is the lightest, smallest all tube set I've ever seen. They don't weigh anything. I mean, they're just, you know, 10 or 11 pounds. So let's pull them apart and check them out. Okay, so you can see this one's much, much less used than this one. And the vertical output transformer is it's down in here it's under that red you can see where this is soldered right here that's the vertical output transformer under that red piece of cardboard and um, very there it is right there very hard to get to very hard to work on so let me ohm them out and compare them. They're supposed to be 330 on the primary and 4 ohms on the secondary according to Sam. Here's all the deflection you get and the the height control makes absolutely no difference. The linearity control makes a little difference but on both of these the symptom is exactly the same which is this much deflection. What I want to do is I want to check this cathode current on the vertical output and they give a, a spec there of what, 25 milliamps or 28. So what I've done is I can't open the cathode on this because of the, the way that it's the tube is soldered in here. So what I've done is I've opened the plate uh, by just using some solder wick and pulling all the solder off that. Uh, pin there and I've got my little meter in here that will allow me to measure plate current so I'm going to fire it up and see what kind of plate current we're getting. Look at this I'm getting 70 milliamps with only that much deflection. How is that even possible? That's just my bad connection right there but I'm getting 70 to 80 milliamps. That's that's incredible. Is that even? Look at this. I hooked up a CTC uh, 17 extra uh, vertical output transformer I had, and I get about 10 milliamps. So I'm gonna try and hook this up and get the other one disconnected and hook this up. Okay, so I've got full deflection at about 
18 milliamps using this uh, transformer out of like an RCA CTC 17. These all these leads that are unused are for the convergence. So that pretty much confirms that that transformer has got some shorted windings in it. Um, kind of a bummer. And you can adjusting the vertical hold, of course. But uh, I'm going to have to agree with my prior diagnosis that a bad uh, vertical output transformer is causing this problem. Here's uh, using an audio output transformer that I scrapped out on my trip. Uh, you can see what the deflection is we get with that. And plate current's pretty low. You know, these vertical output transformers are very critical as far as, I mean, you could stick one in there and get it to kind of work, but as far as getting the linearity right, um, you know, you really need the right thing, the proper impedance uh, to be matched to the yoke and the uh, plate circuit, so I don't know how I'm going to end up repairing this. Get it rewound, maybe? I don't know if the TV's worth that. And I want to show what I had done as I have removed the one that's in the board out of the circuit by removing all the solder. You can see that that lead is desoldered and this lead is desoldered so I did have the old one removed out of the circuit. Okay let's take a uh, look at the cathode or the uh, rather the plate current on uh, this set which is the one that's a bit more beat up and used and um, you can see we're way out of control so let me sub in a, the transformer. Same thing, I've got that lead uh, unsoldered and I'm just bridged across it. So look at this. This is using this transformer and I've got about 35 milliamps and I have not lifted the primary of the factory transformer yet. I'm waiting for the iron to warm up. I'm going to do that right now and see what happens. So look at this, 25 milliamps, full deflection. I adjusted the the uh, the vertical linearity and height on this one. Both controls work now, and I'm using the CTC 17 transformer, 25 milliamps. So both of these have got bad vertical output transformers. I proved it beyond a reasonable doubt to myself. Now it's just a matter of do I want to um, do I want to have them rewound or just kind of mothball the TVs or what do I want to do? Because they're really kind of cool. I'm adjusting the vertical hold. That's what's causing the blanking on the camera to change. But yeah, there you go. Diagnosing a bad vertical output transformer. I thought you guys might want to actually see this fully working. Um, what I did is I substituted in the um, CTC 1516 transformer that's actually out of a Sylvania roundy color set. And my plate current is right on about 24, 25 milliamps, which is right what the SAMs called. And I got the uh, linearity and height adjusted. And as you can see, I got a pretty good picture here. Uh, actually, it looks like the linearity is pretty good. So don't ever condemn a TV because you can't find the exact right part with this tube stuff. You can always kind of sub something in and make something work. And this is a color TV roundy vertical output in a 7 inch uh, black and white. Tubes are very flexible, very tolerant to variation.